as we have talked about the translation, mm -hmm. let's talk about uh, another uh, something very important included in the translation, ribosome, more detailedly. As Dilam said, ribosome is the tiny factory that produces the proteins. All this translation process occurs in the ribosome. Mm -hmm. And uh, ribosome has two separate subun subunits. And uh, these subunits, the production of these subunits is also amazing. And uh, small one, the small subunit, is to matching, as we said, there are many ingredients mm -hmm. to produce just the one polypeptide chain. Mm -hmm. The tRNAs come, mRNA come, the information comes, and the uh, baggage, the one that carries the amino acids, tRNA comes. And the small subunit is the place that matches tRNAs with the mRNA. But the large subunit is the place where the process actually occurs, the amino acids binding together. And uh, the, actually the ribosome consists of, when we look at the deeply mm -hmm. structure, we see that there are some special proteins that make ribosome. They are ribosomal, mm -hmm. ribosomal proteins, they are called. And there are some special RNA molecules. And these are the ribosomal RNAs, mm -hmm. they are called. And uh, it is very obvious that when we look at the structure of the cell, we see that there, are, there can be thousands or millions of ribosomes in just one cell. And this means that there are millions of ribosomes, they are exactly the same structure, has to be, mm -hmm. because if the ribosome is not this, uh, the structure that it should mm -hmm. be, then it means that it cannot work. Mm -hmm. So it means there won't be protein production, yes. it means that there won't be life. Yes. So yes. As, uh, in protein production, we see here again that proteins are needed. Yes. We, uh, every step of protein production, protein synthesis, proteins are working. Yes. Without proteins, a proteins cannot be produced. Without the codes, uh, the codes of uh, RNA, codes of DNA, a protein cannot be produced. And RNA and DNA also cannot be produced without proteins. They are all linked to each other. It's like a machines, uh, it's like a factory building its own machines. It's like they chains, yes. Marshall. They have to be all together <coughs> at the same time, at the same place. This is creation. Uh, gradually, can, uh, they cannot come into being gradually. Because one of them is missing, uh, the other ones won't be produced. Yes. Yes, and it is such a flawless process that, uh, as you said, Sister Dilan, one of them is missing, none of them can work together. Yes. And, for example, for the prokaryotic cells, uh, the prokaryotic cells, there are, you know that the cells without nucleus, their mm -hmm. DNA yes. is released in the cytoplasm. The prokaryotic cells, the cells, there are 52 genes, 52 genes that control the production of the ribosome. 52 genes means uh, many proteins, like 50 yes. proteins or more, and RNAs and other structures, they are required mm -hmm. to produce the ribosome. And the eukaryotic genes, the so, uh, the eukaryotic cells genes, I'm sorry, the cells that our body has or mm -hmm. the, uh, some of the uh, other uh, animals have, mm -hmm. the plants have their special cells with nucleus inside them. The eukaryotic cells, in the eukaryotic cells, there are 200 uh, mm -hmm. genes and proteins that control the production of the ribosome. And four uh, ribosomal RNAs in the DNA that included in the production of the ribosome. Now, when we think about it, as you said, Sister mm -hmm. Dilap, the bricks of the ribosome are produced by the ribosome yes. already. Because these genes, when we look at the proteins, 200 proteins there should be. These proteins codes are also in the DNA. And DNA has to produce the mRNAs for these 200 proteins. And then these 200 proteins has to be produced in inside the cytoplasm with other ribosomes. Mm. And then these proteins should go to the place where the ribosome will be manufactured. And this is something very amazing yes. because this is the dead end for the evolution. Yes. yes. We see that proteins are required to produce proteins, to produce only the, f uh, the factory of the proteins. This is something very yes. amazing. And what uh, evolutionists are saying, I want to mention, someday uh, 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 ultraviolet light comes, uh, thunder comes, uh, and lightning comes, amino acids <laughs> come together, and the amino acids are uh, bonded by peptide bonds. Also, uh, I want to mention it again, they say that it, is, it becomes in water, it is Cosmic impossible. Cosmic soup, they call it. <laughs> yes. yes. And 
protein occurred, they say. This is non-scientific. Yes. This is like a uh, tale. Even the children won't believe that. Yes. yes. Mr. Adnan Oktar always says that let's bring a protein which the bodybuilders use. Let's bring a protein. Let's add water. Let's add alcohol. Let's boil it. Let's froze it. It doesn't matter what yes. you do. It's never going to be a create a new protein. It's yes. not going to be live. It's yes. impossible because Allah created the protein yes. and Allah created the yes. proteins with the other proteins. Yes. So they need a protein to be a form another protein. Yes. So that refused Darwinism from the beginning yes. of it. And I also I want to mention uh, in the uh, Cosmos series of Carl Sagan, uh, in one of uh, these series, uh, one of the episodes, he puts some elements on the table and he says that you see here some elements, this is the elements that form life. Uh, and he has a tank of water near the elements. He put that elements one by one to the tank. Mm -hmm. Then he stirs up the tank. And after that, he says that uh, even we wait millions of years uh, in front of this tank, there won't be life coming inside yes, of it. It's he, oh, yes, he's evo uh, he's an evolutionist person, but he's saying this. Yes. Actually, he knows it is uh, uh, the life is created. Yes, yes. He knows that. Mashallah, and as you uh, uh, said, it is impossible to produce uh, anything from, uh, you cannot create anything, inshallah, it belongs to Allah, mm -hmm. and nothing can occur by random or coincidence, they are all created, it is obvious, because we see wisdom everywhere, <laughs> and uh, as we said, the cells with the nucleus, this is something also very amazing, mm -hmm. because nucleus is a very special place, uh, like a wall, to protect the DNA, like the cell wall, Nucleus is another t type of wall that has gates. And uh, the DNA inside the nucleus is protected so strictly that uh, the, any molecule, that irrelevant molecules, cannot go in through the nucleus. Yes. Mm -hmm. Only the molecules that have business can go inside the nucleus. But uh, the proteins, as we said, too many proteins are required to produce the ribosome. The proteins that are included in the ribosome go inside the nucleus with an enormous uh, f uh, fast, so fast. Yes. And uh, every minute, I want to read it, 560,000 <laughs> proteins just for ribosome enter the nucleus because the production uh, center of the ribosome is the nucleus. This is very huge number. Yes, and every minute we are saying. Yes. Because as we said, there are millions of ribosomes are required for just one cell. Yes. So cell has to be fast. Mm -hmm. So when you think about it also, it's very amazing because uh, we are talking a very high speed. We are talking about a very small area yes. because the nucleus is very, very tiny mm -hmm. place. Yes. We are talking about a very perfect process that has to be maintain continuously and very perfectly mm -hmm. and this is happening all the time without mistake how could it be possible you it are pro you Allah, yes mashallah. mashallah you have a factory that can produce as manufactures a product millions of it uh, every time and without mistake yes, mashallah. and there's mashallah. a system that can understand the mistakes and destroy them and build the correct ones all the time but we are talking about organic molecules we are yes. talking about something that doesn't have consciousness, that doesn't have a brain, also that doesn't it is have not a anything. Being. Molecules yes. are not limit beings. When they uh, enter the cell, they are working because Allah made them work. Uh, yes. Or else, when we put them on table, it won't work. It's just like stone. Yes, yes, it Allah is. Allah gives them life. Yes, mashallah. And also, there is a special place in the nucleus called nucleolus. Is the place of the manufacturer. And uh, all the proteins that get through the gates of the nucleus directly go to the nucleolus, a special place. Mm -hmm. And this nucleolus is the place that contains the RNA genes required for the ribosome. And this is also very amazing. Just one of them, one of the RNAs required for the ribosome is another part of the DNA. And when it is produced, it goes to the nucleolus. But how could it find its way in a very crowded place like nucleus, in a very restrict area, mm -hmm. but it knows how, that it should go to the uh, nucleolus to join the other crowd, to join the other proteins, join other ribosomes, and uh, many transcri transcription factors, many enzymes, many proteins, so many things are required just to produce one ribosome. 
and there are four ribosomal RNAs. And we said approximately for uh, one ribosome, 70, uh, like uh, approximately 70 uh, proteins are required, but more than that are required just to combine them together. Yes. We said 200 uh, genes are working, proteins are working. And, uh, but when you ask to an evolutionist about this, uh, they say that, yes, it is complex, but it is random or happening by blind How chance. How could it be? Yes, it is very complex, maybe more complex than we can ever imagine, mm -hmm. but it is not random. It is created. It is obvious that it is yes. created. And let's say that if it were random, of course it is not uh, random, this is the perfect creation of Allah. Let's say that if it were random, but it is working perfectly, how, uh, how can they explain this? The perfect uh, working, how can they explain this perfect working? And uh, I want to also uh, mention uh, about uh, multi-working uh, ribosomes. For example, uh, an mRNA. Yes. And uh, uh, sometimes, uh, generally, a ribosome comes, starts with m mRNA. And another one comes. They are like pearls on, uh, on a necklace. Yes. They are working together. And uh, they are working while working together, they are producing polypeptide chains. Working together, all in uh, mRNA. They never collide. They never fall off uh, mRNA. Uh, they are working perfectly without any mistake. Yes. How can they explain this? Yes, also you can see it in the picture. Mm -hmm. As uh, I, I wanted to mention the same thing. Mm -hmm. The ribosomes, you can see in the picture, mm -hmm. ribosomes can bind to just one mRNA mm -hmm. and read it mm -hmm. from beginning to the end, not to the, uh, the, uh, the other side, just the correct side. Yes. They read it from correctly and produce the polypeptides correctly, always. And uh, as we said, but to happen this, first of all, ribosome has to be produced, manufactured inside the nucleus. Yes. And when it is produced in the, inside the nucleus, it cannot work in there. It has to go to the cytoplasm. How will it happen? As we said, nucleus has a special gates it mm -hmm. has and are strictly protected. Mm -hmm. The ribosomal proteins can, uh, or ribosomal subunits, let's say, they can pass to the cytoplasm very easily. And uh, like every minute, 14,000 ribosome units can pass to the cytoplasm. You can understand that how it is required and yes. how important it is for the cell yes. that such a restricted place it allows it to pass through the nucleus inside or outside. And uh, these gates you are talking about are also proteins. That gates are produced in the ribosome also. Yes. Yes. Mashallah. And uh, these two separate subunits, mm -hmm. when they get to the cytoplasm, you can see in the picture, they bind together. First of all, the mRNA, this is the translation as Dilem, uh, mm -hmm. Sister Dilem explained. The mRNA steps on the small subunit and then the l large subunit comes and tRNAs come and they carry the amino acids and then they start to produce the proteins, the uh, protein chains, let's say, polypeptide chain. <laughs> also, this is something very amazing I want to mention last. Uh, when the scientists look at the structure of the ribosome, they say that the proteins are the catalytic sites. Mm -hmm. They are the ones that make the, all the action. And the ribosomes, the ribosomes uh, RNAs, are just to make the configuration, just for the uh, formation of the ribosome. But it is not true. When they look at the structure of the ribosome, they see that the ribosomal RNAs are the ones that make the catalytic activity. They make, they bind amino acids together. Mm -hmm. This is something very amazing because yes. we are talking about an RNA making the activity of an enzyme. And now maybe some evolutionists try to say that, yes, we were looking for this to say, but this is something very amazing. Because we are talking about an RNA molecule that carries the information, also has the information, and also has the action yes. together. Mm -hmm. But the cells are consist of water, and the ribosomes are in the water, in some kind of liquid environment. Yes. But these uh, RNAs, are acting in a vacuum place inside. They cr mm -hmm. they make a vacuum place without water, just to bind two amino acids together. How could ribosome yes. know the Le Chatelier principle? Yes. How could it know that the amino acids, the peptide bonds, cannot occur in the water? So we should produce such a place that yes. the uh, water is not allowed. 
this is something very amazing yes. to think.